mimi nime ndoka hapa na kumi na moja nikaenda kwa maji nikangoja mpaka saa moja ndivyo nikateka yale maji hapo kuna muti nimejibandika sasa nataka kutoka hapo kwa muti ukaanguka ukanipiga humko wakaja wakanikuta mimi ni nimetumwa na muti kwa hivyo mimi nimekwenda kuteka maji ndo nikapata hasara ya humkon na humkon umevunjika hapo haushiki kitu kabisa ni maana umekatika hapo humkon mimi ni mama wa watoto saba wale watoto saba hawakusoma vizuri maana ilikuwa maji hakuna iko mbali wakienda shule hivi leo kesho hawendi the sisters drop out of school because of lack of water in the community and it was difficult to my mother to educate my sisters because he got an accident because of water in communities where we do not have access to water there are normally many uh, problems that uh, families experience some of which include children not uh, being able to attend school because they spend most of their time looking for water we also have instances where adults in the in the household are not able to engage in income generating activities because they are also looking for water kwanza world vision ilipokuwa inataka kusimamisha huo mradi ilikuja ikatuita tuone ni vipi inaweza ikatusaidia venye inasaidia watoto wetu na sasa kusaidia yule mzazi pia tulikaa kama community ya makumba ndio tutengeneze hichi kikundi cha makumba water users association uka come up with this makumba water project ndio world vision ikaje ka install maji ikawa sasa ni community i manage yenyewe haya maji ifanye management yenyewe World Vision he was able to put up a borehole, a solar powered borehole, uh, from which uh, it delivers water to an elevated steel tank. And from there, the World Vision did four water kiosks in the, in the first phase of the project. In the second phase, there's an addition of another five water kiosks uh, and another uh, ground level masonry tank. In the Patamaj. Sasa unaona mambo yamekuwa mazuri. Yule mtoto mmoja sasa hivi anaenda shule vizuri. Anapata maji ya kuoga, kufua. Hao wa majirani wanaenda kwa yale maji imeletwa. Tusiwa kuna vinyume vya jinsi ya Thanks to World Vision because they help us to give us clean water and healthy and we have enough time to educate because the water is closer and I have enough time to go to school and learn and improve my aim. When I was in monthly period, the water is here. Ndii. Tangu haya maji yawekwe na World Vision hapa Makumba. Hata drop out imepungua. Watoto wanaenda shule. Halafu pia uh, haya maji yamechangia upande mwingine hata afya imekuwa nzuri si kama kitambo kwamba watu walikuwa wanakunywa maji machafu mara magonjwa kama kipindupindu siku hizi hakuna kitu kama hiyo we target people living with disabilities uh, in our wash programming if we look at the uh, sustainable development goals the the main premise of the sustainable development goals is leaving no one behind 
And when we talk about leaving no, no one behind, what we mean is that we have to focus on the poorest of the poor and the most vulnerable. And uh, people living with disabilities are in this group. So as a world vision in our WASH programs, we ensure that we are not leaving them behind. The physical handicapped children and the mental challenged children, because they are just like other peoples, they also uh, become sick like any other children do. They also need water and sanitation for their living. Without uh, help from motivation, by the time when the, the, those assistants were not there, actually the school was not doing well, and enrollment was low because there was no supply of water. Learning facilities were, were a problem, but the moment World Vision came in, they brought us water. We also got the hand wash tanks, especially during the corona, they helped. They brought us the play items, teaching learning materials. Actually, there was a lot of improvement and everything was under control and the learning was very effective. So we appreciated them very much. Their presence is very important to the school. With what are present in the school, there's more time committed to academic work and health as well. It is very easy to have the cleanliness of the compound, cleanliness of the classrooms, personal hygiene for instance, where children can practice the hand washing and thus promoting their health and of course with good health. They're able to put in more effort in their schoolwork and that basically helps in the holistic growth of these children.